Hello guys, today we are going to be looking at your best reactions to the Spanish Grand Prix, mainly on Twitter because that's obviously the best place to get live reactions to a certain sporting event, obviously this one being Formula One. The poor Ferrari kid fan who saw Kimi Raikkonen out of the race turn one, lap one, and he was sobbing his heart out to a worldwide audience. But it got better for him, as you guys would have seen if you watched the whole race. That kid got invited to the Ferrari hospitality and met Kimi Raikkonen. And I'm pretty sure, I mean, Crofty started breaking down and was like, oh, you know, I'm really quite emotional. I think a lot of people were, to be honest, and fair play to, to, the, to Ferrari and to Liberty Media. I mean, long live Liberty Media. They made something happen, which Bernie, probably would have charged a thousand pounds for. There was quite a cool comment on Facebook, uh, on the WTF1 Facebook page, where Matt Thompson said, watch there be an epic turn one crash just because of his sheer presence. And that his sheer presence was about Pastor Maldonado, who was there this weekend, had a little chat with Sky, and lo and behold, turn one was just a complete explosion of cars. Personally, for me, I really love the fact the teams kind of have a bit of banter between each other. And one of the things that I saw on Twitter uh, at lap 10, in fact, Renault said, lap 10, Nico's P7, looking to go play with his former team. And then Force India came back to him and went, I think we need our own space right now. I am sorry, it's not you, it's me. And then Renault comes back saying, nice try, but nope, we are staying with you as much as past wink. And that kind of team banter is awesome. And we would never get that in the days where social media didn't really exist. So props to those teams for just getting involved. So obviously, if you guys watched the race, you would have seen that move by Vettel on Valtteri Bottas. And Tommy, our editor, who was uh, posting on the WTF1 Twitter at the time, put that move from Vettel and then a very popular gif that's uh, in what, I think it's Britain's Got Talent, maybe I'm not sure, but one of those audiences, you know, where the, the camera looks into the audience and the reaction's amazing. And I'm pretty sure most people will like that as well, where Vettel's like, left, right, left, right, left. Oh, it was crazy. But at 200 miles an hour as well, Damn. It's ironic that McLaren as well is the one that, that's fallen off, so. Oh, actually that shows that it's not a Photoshop background. Yeah, exactly. Because everyone's like, oh, it's a green screen. It's not. it's not. What's an F1 race weekend without a Jolian Palmer gif? And Arif came out with one of not just one, but two Jolian Palmers of that kind of hazy, like, I don't really, I can't really fully like describe what this meme is, but it will be on the screen right now so you guys can understand. And it's like where obviously Julian Palmer doing his usual little like pose and then that kind of hazy kind of image. I don't know, but either way, he put P16 and your teammates P6. And it really is just not getting any better for Palmer at the moment, getting knocked out in Q1 for qualifying. And then in the race, not much better. Oopsie! If you guys remember Hamilton coming over the team radio, it was like lap 16, and he was properly out of breath. He was like, <gasps> he was like, he could hardly speak to his team. So just you, all you could hear is him breathing. And then Dan Thorne comes over and says, odd time for Hamilton to decide to clean his N64 cartridges, <laughs> which I think is brilliant and made me laugh quite a bit. It made Alistair laugh as well, as you can hear in the background. But wow, <laughs> like of everything you could think of, N64 cartridges. Now that's a throwback. At LEGP, who said, were you crying because your hero Kimi retired? And then obviously to pretend what the kid said. It was, no, I wanted a Ferrari hat, but it was 60 euros. So obviously a bit of banter there. The kid was about four years old. I don't think he had a bit of a master plan behind him crying, but again, what a move from Ferrari and Liberty Media. It actually did tug a few heartstrings. Did you see the race, Alistair? Did you see that or not? Or no? I was driving up to London. Get involved with the hashtag, at, w, uh, at hashtag WTF1. Again, what is an F1 weekend without a particular gif of binoculars. I'm sure if you guys are familiar with Twitter and the banter that goes on, there's the, uh, the binoculars thing and then it cuts to another binoculars. Uh, I think it's Kim... Uh, Kim Jong-un. Yeah, it's Kim Jong-un, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Kim Jong-un. Jong Jong-un. Jong-un. Kim Jong-un. That's the one. Okay. WTF1, Tommy with the bants again, saying the Mercedes trying to see where Vettel's gone. That was at the start of the race where Vettel just absolutely bolted and after one lap was 2.2 seconds ahead. I'm not gonna lie, I think a lot of fans were like, oh dear, what is going on here? Ferrari, bit OP, but fortunately it got closer as you would have seen. And before the race, as I mentioned, Pastor Maldonado having a little interview, wasn't he? Having an interview with Sky, with Damon alongside him. And Tommy once again with the bants coming out with an F1 legend with Damon Hill. So Pastor is very much missed from the sport, not because of his racing prowess, but mainly just because of his crashes and being able to flip people, uh, especially around Bahrain. But are you guys missing Pastor Maldonado? Let us know.
You guys will probably be like, why are you using so many WTF1 tweets? But you guys didn't know about the fire that was going on or that we were going to be making this video. So you will know for next time, Monaco, which, uh, are we allowed to say where are we are? We, uh, we, I reckon we are. We, are we won't be here. There you go. Quick shout out for Ocon, our friend at WTF1, and Perez as well. I guess we both, we've interviewed both of them. Doing really well, P4 and P5. Ocon, career best. P5, Hamilton won the race, Vettel was second, Ricardo was third after Bottas blowing up. And that is it. If you want to get involved in these videos, be part of the internet's best reactions to whatever Grand Prix comes up next, then make sure you at us at WTF1 Official. Find us on Facebook as WTF1. Use hashtags WTF1. Maybe even look us up on Instagram, which is also WTF1 Official. And maybe, just maybe, your comment or fire comment will get involved in the next video. And we'll react to it. But that is pretty much it. I've always wanted to do this. But if you want to see another video, then you want to click here. If you want to subscribe, click over here. I'm Matt with WTF1. We're out of here.